Hi, uh, my name is Jenna and I am an illustrator. I have worked on a children's book, um, a colouring book, and also my own comic. Um, I also do lino printing, surface pattern design and graphic design. This is a six part course to help you make your own comics. Uh, we'll be designing characters, writing a script and then learning techniques for thumbnailing, sketching, inking and lettering. You can also use your calligraphy skills here as well. Uh, there are lots of different ways of starting a comic, uh, but in these classes we're starting with creating our characters, which is one of my favourite parts. Once we have the characters, we'll move on to making a short story for them and then drawing it. For each session, there is a warm up activity and then we'll get on to the main task. For most of the tasks, there's also a worksheet you can download and print. If you don't have access to a printer, you can use uh, pens, uh, pencil and paper. Let's get started. To start off, we're going to do a warm up activity. You may have done it before in either a lesson or with your friends. This game goes by a few different names, including Exquisite Corpse and Picture Consequences, and it was created by surrealist artists used to create weird and wonderful drawings. It's usually played in a group, but we can also do a version if you want to play by yourself. You just need a piece of paper and something to draw with. I've made a worksheet with sections for each body part. Each person gets a piece of paper. At the top of the paper, draw a head. It can be as weird as you want. Don't let anyone else see what you're drawing. When you're done, fold the paper over your drawing. Make sure to leave a little bit of the neck showing so the next person knows where to start the body. Do the same with the body. Draw it Fold the paper over and swap. Then the same with the legs and feet. When you're done with the feet, fold that over too and swap it one more time. When everyone is ready, you can unfold your drawings and look at the weird creatures you've made together. If you want to play on your own, you can start off with a couple of different pieces of paper. Draw a different head on each one and fold the paper over. Now mix up the pieces of paper so you don't know which one is which. Do the same as before. Draw the body. And then swap again. This time you're making three characters on your own, so think of some creative things that you can draw. Using animals as inspiration is always fun. This is also a good way to challenge yourself to come up with a lot of ideas in a short space of time. Here I'm going to draw loads of curly legs. Now have a look at what you've made. If you want, you can redraw your creatures to make a more complete character. <laughs> 